Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. So a big part of optimizing your content, especially if you're trying to do semantic SEO, is making sure that it has uh, the right sentiment, making sure it includes all of the right, uh, all of the right entities, um, and it also should be categorized properly because if you write a great piece and you categorize it incorrectly on your website, then there is a chance that Google will like give it the points it needs to outright your competitor. So even though I've talked about tools like Market News and Surfer SEO and a whole load of other that I had talked about in usual in years, uh, most of those tools are paid tools. But there is a free tool that you can use that's a plugin or a uh, extension for Google, uh, Google Docs. And I just ran into this maybe like a, a week or two weeks ago. And I've been playing around with it since I found it. I've been using it to optimize a lot of my content. And I found that it works. It's very effective. Now, so this tool has been very effective. It identifies all everything that is on my page in terms of entity, the terms of how to, like, how to categorize my content, and also the sentiment. Now, if you're looking for tutorial sentiment analysis, there is a separate video for that on my channel. You can go ahead and watch that. But in this video, I'm going to walk you through the tool how I use the tool, and why this tool is so powerful. The other thing is this tool is absolutely free. That's the one. Number two, I'm not associated with the creator of this tool. I'm not associated with the company that owns the tool. I don't even know who owns the tool. I just use it. I find it great, which is why I, re I recommend it on my channel. The third most important thing is that it uses Google's own NLP, which means that you're getting data directly from Google, but you don't need to sign up for Google NLP. You don't need to put in your email or anything. In fact, there's no sign up absolutely. Just install the tool as I'll show you as I use it. So enough talk, let's jump right to it. The extension that we're going to use today is called the Thingy Entity Extractor. Now, this is available on Google Workspace Marketplace. I will leave a link to the, uh, I'll leave, I'll leave a link to the extension in my uh, in the video's description, so you can just go directly to the extension. Once you click the uh, click on install, it will ask you for a few permissions, and that's then and that's just about it. So you don't need to sign up for Google NLP or AI or whatever. It's just install the plugin and you're ready to go. But there is a limitation to this, and there's a 2,000 word limitation that is not mentioned in the documentation. So nowhere does it say that there's a 2000 word limit, but this is a limit that I have run into for the past two weeks of using this. And so if you have a document that's larger, you might want to consider breaking that document down. Also, if you're new, new to for the whole sentiment analysis thing and every, and all of that, I'll go ahead and explain everything the tool shows and how is it important for your SEO. So once you have Thingy installed, you'll go over here for your document, you go to extensions, and you click on the thingy entity extraction and you hit show. And in my case, it's already show, I've re already used it, but if this is your first time using it, it'll take, it'll take some time to fire up on the right and show all the entities. Now, over here in the green are all the entities that, uh, that thingy has picked up. So you have 13, 13 entities. You can click on the entity over here I'll take you directly to it, or you can just click off it. The other great thing about this is it also tells you, not only is this highlighted green, but it also, when there's a person, for instance, like SEOs, um, it will put blue. And so it also, if you click on it, it'll take you to, you know, an explanation, take you to Wikipedia. Um, and then, so if you add a person, for instance, if I add, uh, and just go ahead and refresh to this. And this is just to show you like how it shows the different types of entities on your page. So it didn't pick up John Doe, let's take that's interesting. Um, but whenever there's a person, so that's a different color. Whenever there's a thing, you know, it's, it's, it's green. And the way I use this is I'm trying to find entities uh, I'm, a, a, I'm trying to make sure that my document has enough entities in it. The second thing I'm trying to do here is I'm, is I'm trying to add those entities to my internal link. So over here I have website SEO audit. So SEO is an entity and it's, this is an internal link. Uh, 
So if you look at my watch my internal linking video, you'll you'll see I'll talk about you know using entities as part of this internal linking uh, is extremely powerful. Also, if you watch my sentiment analysis video, you'll see um, you know, how important it is to make sure that the sentiment of your document is you know it's it's, it's super clear. So if you click on over here sentiment, it gives me a score of zero point two. Now zero point two is not a great score. But keep in mind that this is from zero to one, okay? So zero being negative and one being super positive. And sentiment analysis is not necessarily a ranking factor, but in many industries, if the sentiment is negative and you're talking about something that's positive, Google might not rank your document, okay? So you need to make sure that you're hitting the right uh, sentiment uh, and then the right sentiment score. So what I usually do, and I'll show you my own tech tactic later on, but I usually try to make sure that my document is the average of the top five ranking documents in terms of a sentiment score. You then have the magnitude, and the magnitude over here is a 9.5, and the magnitude mainly is the emotional response of the document. So the higher the magnitude, the more emotionally charged your document is. If you're doing a sales page, you want to make sure that it's super emotional as compared to if you're just writing a, a, a thesis all right so again over here make sure that you know it's it's it has the right it's it's not a ranking factor but it is it will help keep people on your page if you're doing a landing page and then we've got categories and you need to make sure that google categ categorizes your document correctly and so if if this was categorized as digital marketing i would be worried because uh google doesn't see this necessarily as an seo related document and so if I'm writing about cars, Google should categorize this as a document specifically about car sales, car, car, car purchase, um, car scams, or whatever you're trying to do. It should be correctly categorized. So make sure to go through this and, and see how Google sees your document, okay? And this is information that's pulled directly from Google, which is why you can rely on this, okay? So what I usually do is I would compare my document to a competitor's document. So I went ahead and Google search and I copied and pasted the home page of a competitor and I'll go ahead and pull this up and I'll show you guys how I use this and how Tingy kind of works um, on different types of documents and how this is helpful if you're trying to make sure that every document you put out is like, is like super duper optimized in terms of its, its sentiment, um, its entity and everything else. Uh, so over here you'll see Search engine optimization is red because it's an organization. SEO is red. People like clients, to see the person, uh, Remac, RBU, so people's names are blue. So you can see the different types of entities. Now I want to make sure, A, that I have more entities than these guys. So I have already more related entities than these guys. The next comparison I'm making is do I have enough diversity of entities? So over here I have clients, there's, there's blue, there's blues, or there are two blues over here. I have only got like, and this is a quick comparison. I've only got one blue, so maybe I might want to do more. Uh, there are two reds over here, and I, oh, I don't have any reds. So I want to add more diversity, and so this was this should be the average of your top three or four ranking competitors. Um, the next one is categories, so it's categorized correctly. Search engine optimization, so my category and their category should be the same. Okay. And then the sentiment, their sentiment score is slightly higher. Their magnitude is, their magnitude is, the magnitude is better than mine. So I might want to improve, improve my document to at least be a 0 0.3 or a 0 0.4. And so this is how you use this plugin. You make sure that your documents are like super optimized and they're ready to go. Not that it will help you rank number one, but it's just this additional thing that you can do to improve your odds of ranking or improving an additional uh, approving and an existing page that you're trying to rank. So I hope you guys found the video useful. Like and subscribe as always. Leave a comment below and happy ranking.